Boy, you weren't kidding. That noise would drive you crazy, keep you awake at night. Well, what I brought is a cutaway of how an air vent works. You see it here, and as the steam comes up into the radiator, it drives the air up through the bottom. Well, what's inside is this. It's a brass bellows, and that's filled with alcohol and water. And when steam hits it, it will expand. And as it does, it will drive this needle right up against the top to shut off the air coming out. Shuts it out tight. It sounds like yours is all gunked up inside there. And it certainly doesn't look like it owes you anything. Been there probably 30, 40 years. <laughs> all right, so I brought a new one. Okay, what I want is a good tight seal here, so I've got Teflon tape. Now, this is the important part right here. You want to be very careful, and if it's hot, you want to protect your hands, and I want to go counterclockwise and just give it steady pressure. I don't want to jerk it, or I could snap that thread up. Oh, good. I would hate it to snap off with everybody watching. Okay, so that's about three or four threads. And we go right back in there, and now we go clockwise. Someday people won't know what clockwise is with digital, digital everything. <laughs> All right, so three or four turns, and it always wants to point upward, and we're there. Okay? So that's that end. Now, over here, we want to repack this valve, okay? First, I got to get the handle off. So there's a Phillips screw. Hold on the handle. And now as I push down the screw, push up on the handle. But now you can see that this thing's wiggling around like crazy. So the steam is coming right up through where the stem is. So I want to take an adjustable open-end wrench. Some people call it a crescent wrench. And again, I want to go counterclockwise. It's a little bit hot. So now, there's supposed to be a complete gasket in there. It's all worn down over time. And this, this see the black that's in there? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so we could try to find the exact gasket, but they also make graphite packing like this. And what I really want to do is just make my own new gasket. So I want to wrap that around a few times. And if I put enough wraps on there and I tighten that nut down, it will compress. Let me just get that cut, and then we put the nut back on, tighten it up, and while I'm doing that, why don't you turn that thermostat back up and let's crank it up and test it out. All right, with the steam back up, let's see how we did. This guy's nice and tight, not a drop coming out there, and boy, there's not much of a, no, barely a little. I don't hear anything. And that's not a bad thing, no, is it? No, it's good.